Hi there, this is Allison from NicePeopleStamp.com and today I'm here to share with you how I made these fun little gift bags using the Frybox die from Stampin' Up! So you're getting a little sneak peek of some new items here as well so let me quickly share what we have here before I get started. I've used some of the new Halloween paper coming up in our holiday catalog. I've also used three different new Halloween stamp sets. I've used Witch's Night here on the tissue to do the spider webs. I've used Halloween Treat to do the little bones here. And then I also used Sweet Hauntings to do the poison bottle and the sentiment. Oh, and those little spiders come from Halloween Treat as well, which is a great set. It actually has a matching framelits um, called Boo to You. So like I said, this is a lot of sneak peek of stuff to come. So that's pretty exciting. But let me show you how to make the little bag using the fry box die. So the one featured on my blog today is using the beautiful flowery paper, but we're going to use um, this beautiful gingham from the Market Fresh Suite. So you can make this with pretty much any designer paper you have. I'm just switching it up here. So this is our fry box die. You're going to want to put that into your big shot. And this is a piece of designer series paper. So this is 12 inches by five and a half. So you're just gonna run that through one time with the entire die covered. This is a little bit awkward to do with a tripod in the way, but we'll make out. <laughs> okay, so now what we have here is one fry box. But as you can see, the front and back of my fry box is the same size to actually make it a bag. So this one, we'd have a short little fry box front, but we wanna make it the same on both sides. So you're gonna take that same piece of paper and you're gonna lay it over the part of the die, which let me bring this out for a sec, that has a curve along the top. So that's the piece we need to cut again. And we're just gonna put our paper back on top and run it through our big shot. All right, so now what we're gonna have is this piece here, and that's exactly what we need. So let me move this out of the way. All right, so now we have the one fry box, and then we have this part of a fry box. So this actually creates some score lines. I don't know if you can see them in the camera, but I am going to cut along the score lines to remove the parts of the fry box that I don't need. We're just basically cutting out another backside of the fry box so we can attach it to the front. And then there's this curly, or curved, sorry, line along the front, so you're just gonna cut along there. All right, so we can discard what we cut off and then this is what we're left with. So our next step here is to assemble. This is the new tear tape from Stampin' Up. This stuff is amazing and it's so sticky and we don't have to deal with that um, red sticky staticky stuff anymore. So isn't that awesome? I mean, as much as I love sticky strip, I love this stuff even more. So we're just gonna put two pieces on each side and then we're just gonna fold on our score lines to put this together. And you'll see the score lines pretty easily, especially when you're using designer paper. I find that with the pattern, you can see where there's just a little bit of a, a line in the pattern. So I think that works out well. So you're going to remove the white part, the little backing of the tear tape and assemble your fry box. So right now, this actually still is just a little fry box, but we're gonna make it fancy into a bag. All right. So you can see that's a little fry box and you'd have this nice little opening to show off your treats. But in this one, I've actually got a 
curve on the front as well so I can kind of hide what's inside. We're not showing off our treats quite yet. So that's where this piece comes in. I like to take a little bit of Tombow. So this is our multi-purpose adhesive. I use this a lot, especially when I want glue right up to the edge of something like I do with this fry box and it's an odd shape. So we're just gonna put some in there like that. And then we just lie this piece right on top. And that should fit perfectly because we cut on those score lines. All right, perfect. So now you can see we have this fun little bag. I think it kind of looks like a purse, the one um, made with the beautiful floral paper. And then this is our little handles. So these are five and a quarter by one quarter inches. And I just have some glue dots here. So put a glue dot on each end. And I think it really comes down to the handles too on how you put them on, whether it looks like a purse or a gift bag or whatever. And I think having the handles like that makes it look more like one of those patent leather purses that are so trendy or even leather purses if you have that kind of budget. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna wrap that around like that. So there you go, it's a fun way to make a little purse or gift bag. Here's that Halloween one again, a nice preview of things to come. If you don't have your holiday catalog, you can email me. There's a contact button at the bottom of this blog post that has a little envelope. So you can click on that and email me if you'd like me to send you the Canadian holiday catalog. And if you're not in Canada or already have a demonstrator, please contact your local demonstrator. So there you go, that's a fun little project using the fry box die from Stampin' Up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.